What's up, my V lovely? What's up, my V lovely? I got a sounds. Smell delicious. Mm. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You guys, today y'all eating me some noodles. Again, I want some noodles, y'all. And then I got the uh, scallops here in my sauce. So let me give my two shout outs today. My two shout outs go to, let me see, Bay and Bella, Ella, Ella, Ella. Anyways, Bay and Bella, they have a ch uh, channel. They do, um, they do mukbangs. They do mukbangs. Very, very nice looking couple. When I tell you they are so nice looking, I'm like, they are so, so good for each other, good looking to each other, whatever. But anyways, they do um, mukbangs and then they do a little vlogging here and there. I know that uh, they did a vlog about their marriage. Uh, you know, well, her husband did it. He's very, very sweet to her. Um, but you guys, you will really enjoy them. Like I enjoyed them when I was um, over, over there on their channel. Also, Check out Tina Biz TV. Tina Biz TV. You are watching Tina Biz. Oh, Tina Biz TV. Yeah. <laughs> And anyways, I know her slogan, but anyway, she does mukbangs as well. She also do sometimes um, be with her husband um, that joins her, and she talks about. I know she. Um, I think she drives the buses out in Atlanta. So you guys, you know, you may see her here and there if you guys subscribe to her. So on that note, go check. I'm gonna leave the links down in the description box below. So go check them out. Yay! We're finna say grace. I'm gonna get it in. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen again. So I got these noodles on deck. Now these are, listen, y'all. Let me do my thumbnail. Why am I on this? I eat with the I'm right-handed, y'all, so do the same thumbnail all the time. All the time. So these are uh, scallops, y'all. Let me see if y'all can see that. I'm close enough, right? Mmm. I'm hungry, y'all. Mmm. First meal of the day. Mmm. Now that's good. Mmm. I'm having my hair back. I got that 30 inches in today, y'all. Uh, Ooh, excuse me. 30, 30. The dirty 30. Mmm. 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 Y'all, y'all don't know about y'all noodles. I don't even feel like dealing with these poor chop. Um. These shops today. I don't feel like dealing with them. Mm. 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 Ooh, that's good. Mmm. 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 Y'all. These, these noodles can be dangerous. Danger! Danger, danger! Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Mm. I make mine extra spicy. And y'all, let me just say y'all, cause them, them noodles that come with the spicy pack, the spicy pack noodles, they be thick. I mean, they be thick, thick noodles. And I don't like that. So what I do is take the chicken noodles, y'all know the ramen noodles, 
and then I'll add the pack of hot sauce to it. And I know y'all gonna say this is a lot of sodium. Yes, it is. Because I add that and I add the chicken part to it too. I do. I really do. So. Mm, mm. It's so good though. Can't help it. Mm, mm. That's why when I be done. I hope it's if it's a if it's juice juice in here. I wanna suck. I mean, drink drink my juice. Mm. Get y'all some noodles. What y'all waiting for? It's like so many people have different ways of making their noodle. Cause y'all know everybody. Got ramen noodles in their house. From Urban. Mm. Ooh, that water. Coldest water bottle in the building. If you want free shipping, oh yeah, God, it would say water break. Water, 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 water break. <laughs> Had to switch it up on y'all for a little bit. Hey, water break. Water, 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 water break. Yeah. What'd you know about that there? Hey. Okay, Bethany. Listen to this. Look at that. Sky lips. Mmm. And those are big sky Oh. Can't forget my little mom. Put some lemon in here too. I got that from, who did I get that from? TME TV. She put that in her thing like that. In her thing, thing like that. Let's see, y'all see these noodles? Mm, don't let them splash everywhere. I got a pretty top on today. Y'all know what? <laughs> This is not all the time, but sometimes I be having the cutest tops on, y'all. Right now, I got a cute top on, and I got some pajama pants on. <laughs> that is a secret. Y'all, we be sitting up here doing these things, these videos, and I'm telling y'all, we be getting dressed, and then I be like, okay, because I know I'm going to change my clothes. I'm not going to wear this all day today. So I said, I'm not going to, you know, I'm just going to wear this cute top for this video. Hopefully not getting nothing on it, because I'm going to hang it back up. Truth be told, I'm going to hang it back up. And wear it again. Mmm. 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 You know the hot. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, too hot to try. Too hot to try. Mm. But y'all tell me, uh, comment down below how y'all make y'all ramen noodles. I know everybody think they got the best ramen noodles because they put all their ingredients in it. I was like that. You couldn't tell me nothing about ramen noodles. It's like you could only eat them plain for so long. Like, you know what I'm saying, playing the regular kind. I ain't the regular way. All right. Back in the day, I used to make a mean ramen noodle. I still can make a mean ramen noodle now. I used to put <clears throat> vinegar. Well, I still do, but I don't. I, I put more. I, made, I eat them hot now, but I used to put vinegar. Sugar, and you can't put a lot of vinegar, so don't overdo it with the vinegar. But vinegar, sugar, I put a lot of seeds like onion powder, garlic powder, all of that in there. Accent salt. Mmm. And y'all talking about something that's good. Make you hurt yourself. Mmm. 
I got my sons on that, and then they got their friends on it. They just give your ramen noodles a different taste. Mmm. And I put a little butter in mine. I know y'all like, y'all health fanatics? Probably like, B, what? All of that? In some noodles? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't eat them all the time, y'all. Now, I have been indulging in noodles. Because I just did noodles like two weeks ago. Maybe a week ago. Mm -mm. No, maybe two weeks ago. Um, I usually have noodles probably once a month. Probably once, maybe twice a month. You gotta treat yourself sometimes. Let me just tell you something. When you start denying yourself of some food, your body is gonna go crazy. Like literally, it's like your body wants it. It's like you want it, you want it. And you know how we women can, you, ladies, y'all you, know how we can get with our cravings. When we want something, we want it. It's like a pregnant woman, we want it. Don't play with me, I gotta get it. Like literally, but if you deprive yourself, I've learned that. Depriving yourself ain't gonna do nothing but make you want it even more. So why not just give yourself something? If you want this, get it. If you want that, because as soon as you deprive yourself, you gonna be great crazy and eating it a whole whole lot. And you could have avoided that if you would just. Had of gave yourself, not deny yourself. Even down, if you have uh, health issues, there's a lot of people that have health issues that know how to how to substitute their food. And I know, I always say that when you have uh, low, you know, stuff that's really, when you got to substitute a lot, it's like, it, it don't be good to that person, but eventually, you will get used to it. You get adapted, like your, your taste buds and everything get adapted to that taste when you modifying things. You know what I'm saying? And then, if you ever try to taste this, something like this, this would be like a whole bowl full of salt to you. Because you're you so used to not eating sodium or mm, low sodium that this would be gross to you. That's just the way it is. And I'm so used to flavor. I love flavor, y'all. Anything with flavor, I love, love, love. But I guess you can have flavor. Like I said, you can train your body. Uh, I remember going on when I used to be on diets, y'all. With my son, second son. Let me tell you. I had dialed it and my body snapped back. I was like, okay, it was like I never had a baby. I mean, I pushed that boy out. My body was snatched, like, boom, it went right back. Like, okay, because I was 19, you know, when I had him. And so, when um, Darius came along, I waited seven years, had my husband, me and him playing Darius. We married happy go lucky y'all know when it, whenever you get married and you happy and everything you eating you going out you going on vacations and stuff like that and it's just fun man i had was pregnant with darius 
I gained so much weight, y'all. So much weight. I was like, and, and when you, after you had that baby weight, y'all, it's hard to get that weight off. So I'm going up and down, up and down on these diets. Like, okay, I'm going to do low fat this. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do this and do that. And it's like nothing was working. I was doing it for like, I, probably if I had Darius, I could have said I was doing it for probably about six months of yo-yoing up and down, up and down. And, 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 and maybe, was it six months? Maybe a year. Cause I, I remember doing it a long time and it was nothing working. And I'm like, I can't, I can't. And by me being, I'm only 4'11 y'all. So it, all, any weight that comes on me gonna look huge. And when I tell y'all I was huge, I had got up to like 230 pounds. I swear when I finish, I'm gonna show y'all these pictures. Cause y'all think some of y'all don't believe me. I'm gonna show y'all these pictures and me holding Darius and I'm like, you know, because I was really, really out there. It's like I was bloated. I was, I, and then I was bloated. I was, uh, it was baby weight and all of that. So it took a while. It took, it was very hard on my body. So I said, I got to do something because I couldn't get up and move like I really wanted to. Like I used to. Now, there's some women that are bigger that has a, a that in their 200s. And they wear they weight good. Everything looks good on them. Like it's like well proportioned. I don't know how that is. Like you could be the same weight as somebody else, but their weight looks so much better. I mean, well proportioned, all in their butt. They got the, the the little you know slim hips uh, waist, and then they got the uh, little the, the nice breasts, and it's just evenly proportioned, and it looks good on them. But with me, I'm just like I still always had a small waist, no matter what I did. A small waist, but it's like it was so much on my body, and so I don't know I'm talking y'all. I don't get anyway. So I'm going on this diet thing for <coughs> like a year, up and down. I'm doing low fat, low carb. Low, no, I wasn't even doing low carb then, because I think Atkins. Remember Atkins back in the um, '90s. Well, was it the 90s or two, early 2000s? That's when it was really booming. And that's when you, you really didn't hear it. That's when it was really on, got on the scene. So I was, what, no, I was doing low carb. No, no, I wasn't doing low carb. I, I was doing, um, what, what, what is that man? It's a call, uh, uh, geez, I ordered his, it's a booklet though. And it was a black guy. He was an infomercial person. And he used to come on and he used to tell you how to plan your your your, your meals. It was a meal plan. Some call it a meal plan or something. So I was on that. I was doing um fasting, intermittent fasting, but found out that doesn't work for me. But when it, when I was doing it, because back then, because if I do it now, it's good. But back then when I was doing, it's like my body was uh, holding on to the weight because I wasn't eating. It's like, okay, you eating this one meal a day, now I'm going to store the fat because I don't know when I'm getting my next meal. It was crazy. And so, mm, um, sorry y'all. Um, When I would fail a diet, y'all, you don't diet, right? And it's like, it was so hard because you always have to, literally, you go around family, they're eating all this food, everybody is just so, it's like torture to me. It was torturing to me. In a restaurant, you got to order something different. You can't order what's on the menu. You got, I mean, you can order what's on the menu, but you got to order a certain, certain, you got a certain type of things that you only can get, certain things you can get. So you gotta tell the waiter, listen, I can't eat this, hold the butter, don't put this on there, don't do that, can you add this and do half portion? It was crazy. And I'm like, you will go crazy, crazy in here. I don't care how much willpower you think you have. You have willpower at that moment, but it's it just takes a while to get adjusted to that type of thing. In the beginning, in the beginning, because once you get it, you got it. 
but it's hard and you got to deprive yourself. So I found myself like, okay, I have a cheat day. Always cheat days. Cheat day, cheat day, cheat day, cheat day. Man, them cheat days turned into three weeks of cheat days. Three weeks of cheat days turned into months of cheat days. Y'all know how it go. So you like, ooh. Pretty soon, you like, okay. You like, let me get back on it. I'm gonna get back on it. I'm gonna do it right again. And by the time you say you'll get back on it, you didn't gain uh, like 10, 15 more pounds or 10 pounds or whatever. You didn't gain more weight than you had. So it was like every time, because every time you diet, your body's like, okay, yo-yo diet only makes you gain even more weight. And then you got yourself to the point where you're like, okay, I started this thing. When I first started, I was 25 pounds lighter. Right? You like, I was 25 pounds a lot. Now I got 25 pounds to lose plus the other weight I was, was intending to lose in the beginning. So that's just how it go. So one day I just said, you know what? I said, I'm so sick and tired. I think we had, I don't know what happened. You know, sometimes you have those surreal moments. And I had one of those moments in my life. And I was like, I got to do something. So I start eating low carb. I start doing the Atkins. And remember Atkins had this very thick, thick, I still got that book. It's a very thick book and it says the Atkins diet. It was so thick. It was small paperback book. And um, I started doing that because that is something that I can identify with that as far as I, it really, really, um, it really, really worked for me because I'm a high protein eater. I love meat anyway. You know what I'm saying? Some people love, and I love vegetables. I love vegetables. I love me. I've always been that way. But back then, I think I had, I was eating a lot more sweets. Like I had more of a sweet tooth for different things like that. But uh, when I got to act, this is how I'm not, I don't eat that many sweets. Now, my, people ask me, why you don't eat that much, much sweet? I eat sweets, but it's very, very limited. And it's not, I'm not a chocolate freak. I'm not that because me being on that Atkins for so long, it was not Atkins. Well, it was Atkins and gradually went to just low carb, you know, because you got to do 20 carbs a day. 20 carbs a day on Atkins. And um, so I did that. And y'all, when I tell y'all that weight was coming off, that weight was coming off of me like crazy. And I was losing inches and everything. And everything worked out. And I, by the time I looked up, I was over, I had lost over 100 some pounds. Kid you not. And it took me like probably 14 months, like a little over a year to uh, lose that. But it was easy for me because I can go anywhere and order me of uh, some steak and order me some um, uh, vegetables or something like that and stay within my, my carb range. My season, I got to the point where I was like under probably 50 carbs or something like that and it was easy because I didn't, then I didn't want any sweets. My body did not crave for sweets. After a while, now in the beginning, I'm gonna tell y'all, it was hard in the beginning trying to, you know, it was just a part of not denying sweets around my, you know, especially around the time of that month. You be wanting to eat. You be, I'm trying to, I should be eating now. You be wanting to eat and stuff. Mm. You be wanting to eat. And y'all, I kept going, kept going, kept going to the point where all of this cravings and sweets, it completely went away. I didn't have no type of desire for something sweet like that, you know. And then, back then, they didn't have all the stuff they have now. The Atkins bars with the sweet Atkins bars. They got the Atkins de um, um, uh, frozen meals now at the store you can buy. They didn't have none of that. You have to do what you had to do. It's like uh, you get it or you got And then they tell you the sweet aspartame that don't do that one. You know what the, uh, they say it's got aspartame in it because it's been bad for you or something. Or addicted, something about that. It was, it was not good. The Diet Cokes and stuff like that. It was, it did make you, it, it was a difference. I, I could tell when I was eating, drinking Diet Coke, it's like I was getting bloated from drinking those. So I stopped drinking those and just started drinking water. So it is, like I said, y'all, it's it's perks and it, it's con, pros and cons to um, yo-yo dieting. 
I'm telling you, you gotta be disciplined. And you know what? Like I've said, the more you deny yourself, the more you won't. And I'm convinced that every diet is not for everybody. Just because there's a low carb diet, I mean, a, a diet that works for somebody else, it may not work for your body type. Like me, like the low fat, low fat, high cal, what's it? Low fat diet or maybe low calorie diet. That stuff don't work for me. Mm -mm. You gotta get something that works for you, your body. Where you feel like, oh, okay, I can do this. You know? Mm. But, mm. if you don't, I don't know. It's not easy. I don't know. Why is it so easy to gain weight, but it's so hard to lose it? Like, even now, when we were in quarantine, I gained weight. I gained weight, y'all, because it... Cause I wasn't moving right around like I was. I used to be go, I used to be go 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 moving 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 everywhere I look. I was just, I never ever was sitting sitting down. Never was you know. I never had time to really really rest rest. So being in the house watching movies, just sitting up, not really doing anything, and it was like woo. I don't even know how much I got. I weighed. It was not that bad. It was under ten pounds, but I can tell. And now my stuff is starting to go down again. Sometimes I have to eat. Like, if I know that happens, all I have to do is really cut off everything that's not, you know, that's not water. And then I have to uh, start eating lower carbs so you'll see me eat nothing but meat in my videos. Because that works for me. That means my weight is going to, I'm waiting for it to go down again. Because, like, if I eat this all the time, it'll be bad. It'll, it'll creep up on me. It'll creep up. And now, every morning before I get in the shower, I go weigh myself. I go weigh myself to see where I'm at. Sounds crazy, but yeah, I do. That way, I can have a better, <clears throat> better thing, better understanding of where I'm at. Because if you don't check your weight, <clears throat> you're going to end up, it's going to end up creeping up on you. You'll be like, wow, how did I get there? And then you're going to be like 30 pounds in, you're like, wow. But when you check it right away, you keep up on it. I'm like, where my pot? Yep, you can keep up on it and be like, man, okay, let me watch myself now. And that's what determines what I'm going to eat. I don't be caring. I don't be caring if I eat the same thing. Because I know what it does to my weight. Most people that does these, do these um, videos that eat low carbs and stuff like that. With chicken and, and this butter sauce and chicken or whatever, whatever butter sauce they use. It's a low carb thing. A lot of people don't know uh, know the rules to low carb. I can tell because they be eating fried chicken, and I'm be like, you can't eat no fried chicken and no low carb. You only can eat like meats that don't have no fried stuff in it, no flour. Mmm, that was good. All right, dumb scallop zero. I think, and then there's something about the net carbs versus the regular carb, carb grams or something. Because I guess fiber cancels out carbs. That's a whole nother thing. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go because I love y'all. I love y'all. Let me see if I get any. Then get nothing on my shirt. My shirt cute too, y'all. It, it it comes up. It's like a tie and it goes off. It's a very, very cute shirt. But anyways, I'm going to let y'all go.
Peace out. He loving hair grease. I was about to say, go that. See, y'all notice I don't do my long thing no more. I try. Listen, it's hard for your girl to change, man. I ain't used to change. I'm 45, y'all. I am be setting my ways. I need to get unset in my ways, huh? But it is what it is. It is what it is. Some of y'all setting y'all ways. Don't even act like y'all ain't. Don't forget to check out those people I told y'all to check out. What's up, my Vila? I got a sound. Smagalicious. Mm -hmm. I got a sound. Smagalicious. Mm -hmm. I got a sound. Smagalicious. Share and subscribe.